Again, restless legs, didn't get a good night's sleep, so I'm just getting up. I got up at about a quarter after 11, it's 12 o'clock now. And instead of having anything specific for breakfast, we've discovered this dish, and all of us seem to like it. It's mushrooms and onions with garbanzo beans, and then we either throw like ground turkey, ground beef, or just leftover chicken in with it. And we cook it all up and Megan, Kevin, and I all like it. And it's healthy and, and it's good leftovers. It's good leftovers and it's good for my diabetes. So I mean, can't really go wrong there, can you? No. So that's what we're just throwing together right now. And um, then Kevin and I are going to bust into this house. It is nasty looking. Well, I'd like to open up. It's a little cooler today than it has been. I'd like to send a breeze through here. So this is what it looks like when it's all mixed together. It's got mushrooms, onions, garbanzo beans, and chicken. And it is yummy. And we put some other, we put garlic in it and some other spices. Have you tasted yours yet, baby? Yeah, it's really good. Is it? How's it with the cayenne pepper? That's a little different, but it's good. Is it too spicy for me now? No? Okay. Good. All right, and Kevin's gonna read me some comments. Yeah, see the mountain. See the mountain of blankets and stuff here all needs to be put away. We had some of Megan's friends spend the night, so I have to clean all this up. Yeah, they were nice. They picked it all up and folded it up, but we gotta put it away. So, <laughs> all right, baby, I'm gonna ask you real quick to pick a picture. You like my lunch, Boomer? Because somebody wants a signed picture of all of us. No. No. Meow. Hello, everybody. So Megan and I have decided that we're going to do a little bit of running around, and then we are going to go have some sushi. Yay! I've been craving sushi ever since I've watched uh, the Buck Stop with Thomas and Lisa when they went and had sushi the other day. Um, it looks so good and I've been craving it for so long and the place we were going to go to is closed today and the other place we're going to go to doesn't open for another hour so we're going to go to Target and do a little bit of shopping first and then we're going to go have some sushi. Yummy yummy! Yummy, yummy. Mm. Uh. That's all Megan has to add. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Megan has a stuffy in her car. A stuff hedgie. That's not the one we bought. Oh. No, I got that one for my birthday. Where's the one we bought? In my bedroom. Oh, I thought you were leaving him in your car too. No, I need a manatee one. I think I want to crochet an itty bitty manatee. Hang from right from there. Yeah. That'd be cute. That'd be cute. Okay, so Megan and I have done all the running around that we needed to do. We got everything that we needed to get. And now we are on our way to have some sushi. Yay! Okay, so we got to our sushi place. And look it, they are ready. Before they even took our order sheet, they sent over the, what is this one? Shooting star. Shooting star with an I miss you on it. Isn't it great when you just go to a restaurant and they 
know you and they already start on your order before you even place it. And they've sent over the baked mussels already. It's just amazing. So this is just the start. We're doing an all-you-can-eat sushi tonight. Yay! And she eats this roll piece of roll. In one bite. Let's see. Say super cows fragilistic XBL so Megan ordered herself some albacore, albacore nigiri and we ordered the mussels and another eel roll, right? you all doing today? I had a pretty good day. I got to have sushi. My blood sugar didn't like it, but I sure did. <laughs> I don't know why your blood sugar didn't like that. It's just fish. Well, it's rice. Oh, rice. A lot of white, white rice. That's so. what did it. Yeah, probably. Yep. Anyway, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! Julia Boza, welcome to the neighborhood. TJRA Homemade Grow Box, welcome to the neighborhood. Mark Lunsford, welcome to the neighborhood. And Daisy B, welcome to the neighborhood. And Jessica C T is at 14 subs, and she wants to get to 50 by March 20th. Now she sings on her channel, and if she gets to 50 subs by her birthday, which is March 20th, she is going to drink a small bottle of Tabasco sauce and then she is going to sing right after it. She was just going to drink the Tabasco sauce, but her father and I said, no, 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 you got to sing right after it. So, yeah, we're making it even tougher. So, please, everybody, I mean, I love my subscribers. I really do. But I love when they do these types of challenges. <laughs> I like to see them suffer. Now, my question yesterday was about how many animals do you guys have, and if you don't have any, what would you like to have, and how many of you could name all of our animals? I said 15 at the beginning, and then I said 16 at another spot, so 15 or 16, and I'll explain that. Um, Bambi S has the most animals of all of our subscribers um, that had replied. She has 12 animals. from lizards and turtles all the way to horses so Bambi S has the most and the second place comes in with Taylor Berry and her sister Madison Ferretti they have seven chihuahuas and one cat and we just skyped with them the other day and they showed me all their chihuahuas and they are so so cute I love chihuahuas okay and the per people who named all of our 15 slash 16 animals, they they had some, you know, extra animals in there, and, and, and but they got them all right. And the reason it's 15 slash 16 is because we have Megan listed in with the animals. Makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, but Christy Shiver got them all right, Dana Besaw got them all right, and Terry Johnson got them all right. And Terry Johnson also pointed out that we don't have Ellipse on our list. And Ellipse is still with us, everybody, so we need to add him to the list. Um, the two animals that are not, well, three animals that are not on the list any longer is Siler, Simba, and Spice. Those are the three animals that are no longer on the list because they all have passed on. 
Okay, so my question for today is, past or present, if you watch TV series, what is or was your favorite TV series and why? There you go. Which leads me to say about tonight's Walking Dead. You don't spoil it. And I'm not going to no spoil spoilers. it. I'm not going to spoil it. All I'm going to say is they should have fed him to the zombies. That's it. That's it. That's my opinion. If you've seen it, I'm sure you should. You would agree with me. Leave your comments below. Happy face. Because my man was back on a bike tonight. Anyway, <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay. And uh, uh, last nice trivia question had to do with the Omen, 1976. Uh, when they went through the zoo, it was the Windsor Zoo. How did the, the producers uh, get the baboons to attack the car? And what they did was they they got the uh, the the alpha male, the leader of the baboons, uh, drugged him up a little, put him in the back seat with one of the handlers, and uh, the, all the other uh, baboons went crazy. Uh, a couple of people pointed out that they had to experiment. They actually had a baby baboon for a while, but they were all going, eh. they didn't care. They had the leader in there. They're all freaking out. Uh, the way it's worded on the inter IMDB, it's, it says that the head of uh, the baboons kind of sounds like they cut off somebody's head, and that's not. It's it just kind of worded funny. So uh, when I first read it, I, when I first read it, I'm like, they cut off a baboon's head? <laughs> <laughs> no, the head of the baboons uh, in general, the group, the group leader, and the people who got that right are um, Tanya Longley first. Terry Johnson, Mom's Log 80. Yay! Yay! And Greg Myers. All right. Uh, okay, tonight is about the, a movie, relatively recent, called The Descent. Um, and that's about uh, some uh, people going into caves. Okay. What cave system did they use in the movie? That's the question. There you have it, guys, your trivia question for today. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us sitting here today. By the way, I want to say one real quick thing. God, this gets longer and longer. We are coming up on our one-year anniversary. April 21st is when we set, when we put our very first vlog up. So April 20th will be one year, and we are almost at 4,000 subscribers. And I would love to hit 4,000 subscribers for our one year anniversary. And we need to do something special for our one year anniversary vlog. So. We're thinking of some ideas. What do you think, Bones? Got some suggestions for us? Put them down below. Anyway, back to it. You are all part of our neighborhood community. What are you doing with that? Something special for us. <laughs> you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. Go by and check out the neighborhood zoo. Paranormal investigations with the neighbors. Hey! Don't touch the headbands. Don't touch the beard. I can touch that don't beard touch anytime that. I want to touch that beard. <laughs> Finish your thing. This is getting you forever me up. long. Bye!